I love ultralight backpacking. It's such a cool sport because it combines, well, physicality, that is, you have to hike for quite a ways to some place, uh, but it's also, you know, slightly easier because it's a light backpack. But still, it's very physical, but also you have to be very creative with what you pack. Um, you can't just like be like, hey, I'm going to bring my hacky sack and, and a giant tent. And which that can be difficult with that amount of weight. But the um, uh, the creative factor, I, I really, really, really like. Uh, and it's one of the best ultralight backpacking moments I remember was when we were in Montana and uh, I got together with a few friends and I was like, hey, let's go shoeboxing, which is the idea of getting a shoebox and that's the only stuff that you can bring, the stuff that you can fit into this shoebox. And you just kind of measure the amount of stuff using this. So you have to be so, so creative and careful with what you put in here. And so it's, it's so much fun when people are like, ah, I can't fit my Skittles and, and stuff like that. It's <laughs> so cool. So what we did was uh, we went up uh, right on the edge of Glacier National Park and the Blackfoot Indian Reservation. And um, the joke... The recurring joke I remember on that trip was where there's snow, there's a McDonald's uh, or a Burger King, either one. I, I don't know why that was the joke. Don't get me. But um, yeah. So anyway, hey, look, there, there's a McDonald's up ahead. Go faster, people. You know, things like that. Well, we got to our destination and uh, we, we cut some branches and we put them on the ground so that when you lay on top of them, they insulated you from, from the cold ground. We built a little fire there and we got some shale, big, huge rocks, and we stuck them up and created this wall so that it reflected the heat onto us as we were sleeping. Uh, it was, it's so cool to, to be, you know, that creative in a situation when normally you would just set up a giant tent and crawl into your sleeping bag. Ultralight backpacking. It kind of adds an element of survival to it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's also really nice when you are with other people because you can sort of divvy up things. For example, uh, uh, Matt, you bring the first aid kit. Um, uh, uh, what was one of his name? Rally. Rally was his name. <laughs> Great name, by the way, as in North Carolina, Rally, North Carolina. And I was like, hey, you bring the water filter, things like that. You can kind of divvy up. And I, 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 when I got, um, what, what was another? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, coolest thing ever. I ultralight backpacked around Mount Rainier, 95 miles. Normally it takes you like, oh, 14 to nine days between that amount, nine to 14 days. I did it in three. Let me tell you the story. It's so cool. Ultralighting by yourself. Oh, wow. I almost died. It's true. 